Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, designs. No, so this is my football shirts I got in the month of December and the year of 2021. So this is a series that I've been doing on the channel for a few months now. Pretty much, it just has all the shirts I got in the specified month that's in the title. And from there, I just present them, you know, talk about them a little bit. So that's pretty much it. Also, some shirts that I got in December won't be included because they get a video on their own. Those are more so the special edition shirts and all that. There's one shirt that I almost included in this video and I'm like, you know what? Even though it's in March right now, the shirt's been out a while, I want to give it a video on its own. So that's what I'll be doing. I'm not sure when that'll be out, but that's besides the point. We are going to start off with this shirt right here though, this lovely Bayern Munich shirt. So this is a training shirt, 2020 slash 21, or 21 slash 22, I should say. My apologies. Team Guys collection, there were nine clubs that were a part of this collection. It's the 15 year anniversary of the iconic Team Guys template back in 2005. I should say 2006, because that's actually the correct year, 2006. But my lovely girlfriend did give me this shirt for Christmas, amongst many other things. But definitely pleased with it. A lot of people aren't too big of fans of it, but I think it is absolutely extravagant. Certain clubs do pull it off better than the others. And I think Byron is definitely one of the top ones. Maybe I'm being biased, but definitely one of the top ones with this design. The next shirt that I have in this video is, yes, it's a picture, the Atletico third shirt. So I did return it after talking with Kit Bag, it's community service over and over again. Did get a full refund on it, despite them trying to only give me partial refund. But the printing there on the back just looks horrible. It was a big error on the printing and Honestly, all in all, I just did not want it at that point. I do plan on getting it in the future, but technically I did get this shirt in December of 2021, so that's why it's included, but it has been returned. Lovely shirt though, just that minor little error right there, which honestly isn't really too minor in my eyes, pretty major, because from there, it'll end up flaking and peeling off even more. Moving on to the third shirt in the video, we have an Almirante Brown special edition third shirt, which is honoring William Guillermo Brown, an Irish-born admiral who ended up being known as the father of the Argentine Navy, being Argentina's first admiral. The weird thing about this shirt to me, though, is the fact that it is honoring the 164th anniversary of his death. Such an odd year in my eyes to choose. Well, it is even because 164 is an even number, but odd is in strange year to choose to have this shirt. But all in all, lovely. We have the sketch of the Admiral Guillermo, and then on the back, we have a ship. Lovely shirt, lovely shirt, great work done. The fourth of eight shirts in this video, we have the 2020 to 21 West Bromwich Albion away shirt with the Ideal Boilers sponsor in the center there. I think this shirt is ugly, honestly. I bought it because it was cheap, and it's just hilarious to me how ugly it is. So I'm not gonna call it lovely like I call most shirts, it seems, but it's just funny how bad this shirt looks, in my opinion. So bad that I like it. Next up, we have the Arsenal 2012 to 14 home shirt in long sleeves. You know, personally, I prefer short sleeves over long sleeves. A lot of people may disagree with me, but I still think this shirt still looks great with the long sleeves, especially with this sleeve pattern here already, instead of being cut off right here. Of course, it goes all the way down. That's what a long sleeve shirt is compared to a short sleeve. You know, the sleeves are longer, but of course, that's speaking to a choir. On the back, we have Serge Gnabry, number 44. As a Bayern fan and an Arsenal fan, Bayern's my number one club, of course. Arsenal is my favorite Premier League team. But I liked Gnabry at Arsenal. And then he went on to the Bundesliga and he eventually ended up at Bayern. So, of course, the shirt means even more to me then. I think it's nice to have a number 44 Gnabry shirt. I think it's really cool to have shirts anyways when it's kind of ridiculous numbers that ain't the typical number seven or number 22, which is still a bit of a weird number, but in the 40s, definitely quite odd. Not something you see very often, but lovely shirt here. Of course, there is a little bit of a stain on the sleeve. The seller did let me know that. So that's fine. You know, it happens. I'm pretty sure there's some remedies I could use to help me get that out. All right. So moving on to the next shirt, we have a bit of a strange one because I have some questions on it, but it is the Bayern Munich home 2004 slash 2005, allegedly the Das Double 2005 special edition shirt. It is the home shirt, of course, limited edition 20 out of 30, it says. And then on the back, we have some printing that says Deutsche Meister and Deutscher Pokalsiger. And honestly, this is a shirt that I've looked up I swear, when I went to a game 
in Munich last year. I seen somebody wearing this shirt and I was like, huh, that's interesting. Looks kind of weird. Doesn't look too great, but it definitely is reminiscent of the times because it's just simplistic with the printing and stuff on the front and the back. But limp edition, 20 out of 30. And I'm looking back thinking, did I see somebody with one of the 29 other shirts or is this just a fake printing pudding that was put on? I did buy this from Classic Football Shirts. I seen it and I was like, this is strange. I haven't seen this before. I researched it, couldn't find it at all. I'm like, but I'm going to go ahead and buy this anyways, just in case, because I'll regret it if I don't. So anybody who has any answers to this shirt, like what is up with this printing? You know, I haven't seen it. I can't find anything on it online. I feel like I've seen somebody wearing this exact shirt with the same printing when I was in Munich at a Bayern game, but I don't know too much about this shirt. I know what year it's from, just the printing, what makes it the special edition, even if it is a special edition, the whole limited edition thing, I, I don't know. But if you have any information on it, please let me know in the comments. Oh yeah, but one thing I wanna mention is it has tags. So 2004 slash 2005 shirt with tags. You don't see that very often. So that's yeah, great to see. All right, so moving on to the next shirt, we have a box shirt that I have not yet unboxed. It is the Cagliari Centenary Special Edition shirt celebrating the centenary year, of course, of the Rosa Blue. Antonio Maris collabing with Macron and also making this crest right here. Of course, it's not just a usual crest, it is a specially designed one. There were 2020 of these created, and of course, the club being founded in 1920, that is the 100 years for the centenary years. I'm sure that doesn't have to really be explained, but I just kind of did. Also, one little detail I want to mention is that when this shirt ended up going out for sale, originally, it was put out at 1920 o'clock. So I think that's kind of cool. A little detail there, making it 720 for us Americans of course, or people who use, you know, single digits as compared to a 24 hour clock. I think it's a nice little detail, you know, 1920. So let's go ahead and open it on up. It will be the first time I open it. And there it is. The lovely shirt it is. Of course, I already know what it looks like. We do have a description right here. So 100 years have gone since our day one of Cagliari Calcio in Sardinia and all around the world, yet yeah, literally flew away. Our journey brought us in Michelin and Turin, passing through Florence and Monza, Pisa and Tibio, touching as well some drama in Naples and Trieste. Why not? Of course, you can read that there. I'm not going to read it all because that would take a while. Not really, but I'm just not going to. But we will go ahead and pull the shirt out and unfold it before I end up putting it back in there forever. So let's go ahead and do that. Paper down. And here it is. There's the back. Of course, there we have 1920, 2020. Lovely shirt. It's very, very clean design. Macron, I like that it's just white there. You know, it's not a huge focal point. Limited edition, 1140, the 2020. So that's nice. I like it when there's patches actually on the shirt showing what it is. So lovely little detail. I do like here on the bottom. It's a different layer of fabric. And the crest is superb. Kind of reminds me of a playing card. I like that it's rectangular and it's like hard stock for the most part. Beautiful, beautiful shirt. Great job, Cagliari. Great job, Antonio Mares. Great job, Macron. Then moving on to the final shirt of the video, the eight out of eight shirts. And the one that was mentioned in the title of the video, we have an Arsenal legend signed shirt. It is the Arsenal 2014 slash 15 home shirt. And it is signed by Alexis Sanchez. You may argue he's not an Arsenal legend. If you say that, I disagree. We do have the certificate of authenticity. Oh, this is a great shirt. Extra large. What's funny is I bought it from the same dude I bought the Gnabry shirt from. And whenever I ended up asking about the Alexis shirt, he had a whole bunch of shirts. I said, what about the Alexis shirt? Talking about sizes, you know, and prices and all that. I didn't even see this Alexis shirt, to be honest, in the bunch. I was referring to a yellow one. And he ended up saying it was signed, and I found out it was this one he was talking about. And I was definitely more interested in this one as opposed to the other one. Didn't really catch my eye as much. But it did catch my eye as much because, of course, my eyes went on it first. But he brought up this shirt, and he said it was signed. And the price on it, great deal, honestly. Surprised I got it for as low of a price as I did. I usually don't mention the prices in which I buy shirts, but I did spend about 100 pounds on this. With the Gnabry shirt, it was like 150 pounds plus shipping, and that is going to the U.S. So that's not bad at all. That's a combined price between them. So not really a set price on this Alexis one, but take up it what you will. This is a beautiful, beautiful shirt. And I didn't really plan on having a signed Alexis shirt, but it is nice to have one, of course, 
whenever I first started getting into football and started liking Arsenal, of course, he was one of the main men early on. So nice to see Arsenal legend. Thank you for watching, though, ladies and gentlemen. I'm S. Nil, and adios.